This is freaking heinous. This is repulsive. Oh, hello? What are we talking about today? I mean, look at this shit. It's completely out of control. You guys can see this, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to try to convince you. Yes, we can see whatever you have in your video. But of course, you haven't convinced us of anything because I don't know what you're talking about. There is a growing citizen's movement uh, demanding an explanation of chemtrails. The explanation would be they're not chemtrails, they're contrails. You have to know a little bit of science to understand exactly how they're formed, but I have a feeling that you don't go into the science. So this is one big smoke screen. I fucking called it. Hey, it's Punisher here. Hey, uh, I was gonna go into this a few days ago, but I decided I wanted to wait to see if they had anything else that came out. They didn't yet. So let's try to see what little idiotic things they gotta say. Now that we have YouTube and more social networking devices, now this is really getting out in such a way that they can't control it. They must just be really, if you can use right. the expression, shitting themselves. No, we really are shitting ourselves. We in fact love that you do this. Because it gives us the opportunity to go, there are people like this in the world, and then we know that life is doomed. Well, many of the planes that we're seeing here in Abilene will actually turn whatever they're spraying on and off right before our eyes. I mean, you'll see a plane up there flying like normal, and then all of a sudden it starts spraying. I can understand his confusion whenever he sees this, but I'm gonna go into a little more detail about how this actually happens. Normally I would be using something like this graph because it has enthalpy and then pressure on the side But this is a log base and I figured that this might be a little too complicated for them So let's decide to use a little bit different graph to simplify just a little bit more So in the graph I pointed out at the temperature and pressure of it coming out of the motor and the temperature and pressure of the air around it since we know both points on the graph, we can draw a line between them based upon what we know from the engine. Pressure will drop faster, then the temperature will slowly decrease. On the graph, we can show you exactly what happens to the water as it exits the engine. The water in the atmosphere is drawn into the engine. It's heat superheated, and then it's immediately, as soon as it's drawn out of the motor, is drawn into an ice phase. Now we know that engines are not 100% efficient and therefore will have stuff in the atmosphere such as particulates from the exhaust. These particulates actually allow for the water vapor to collect and then crystallize such as clouds that we see every day. Behind the plane what you will actually see is a gapping between the engine and the cloud that is formed from the exhaust. This is the vapor trail before it becomes a cloud. If these were in fact chemicals that were dropped from the plane, they would freeze a lot faster because they don't have that large of a heat difference. And depending upon the altitude of the plane will depend on how long they stay. And we can't draw conclusions solely on a video. You have to give us some form of evidence before we can draw any type of conclusion. Otherwise, it's an assumption. As long as grown men are more active in watching sports than getting politically involved. This is not going to change. A real quick story, I was getting my hair cut this morning, sitting in the barber shop. Two men were in there, all they could talk about was sports. So the barber asked them about the kids on the border and they had no idea what this man was talking about because all they wanted to do was talk sports. But talking about mindless fluff is really a strategy in disguise. Right, talking about anything but the actual subject itself which you have brought up would be considered fluff. So mindless dribble, like sports, is in fact like watching evil on ESPN dribbling the ball, going for the score. It's their MO. It's politics 101. Why are you bringing up politics and sports when you should be talking about your chemtrails? Always deny, never admit, and make counter accusations whenever possible because the best way to deflect attention away from an important issue is by not talking about the issue. Are you not doing precisely that right now? 
So see past their deflector shields. While I always love a Star Trek reference, you're getting very off topic. So this is one big smoke screen. This is blatantly obvious because you don't know what you're talking about. If you're gonna say something, then bring up the subject and then give some sort of evidence. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your sky, to your chemically induced synthetic sky. I'm starting to think somebody else is actually doing your pictures for you. Otherwise, why would you have a robot on the screen when you're talking about... Oh my god, I can't even do this. There are many terms for what we are seeing here. Oh, 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 I have another one. You're dim-witted. You don't have to be a super brain to know what's going on here. No, but you do actually have to have a brain in your skull to figure out exactly what this is. And if you make blind assertions without any evidence, then you're fucking retarded. It almost looks like something out of the movie Matrix. You know, to get that picture, you might actually have to do something in the Matrix. Like when Neo bends back and gets the bullets blown by him. I'm starting to think that to get that picture. When they scorch the sky. Oh, yeah, no, no, that doesn't look anything like it. That's a blue sky. That there is nothing to fear. Go back to shopping. Go back to Doomsday Disneyland. Yeah, I think I will go back to, uh, did you see Doomsday Disneyland? What fucking idea is that? If you listen to the quote-unquote experts, you will definitely get further in life than this guy. They seem to be saying that treating our air like an open sewer is no big deal, but this couldn't be any further from the truth. Well, congratulations. You made it to the very end without pulling your hair out, hopefully. If you like what you saw here, then go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I am going to be putting these out quite frequently from now on. Anyways, I'd like to say thank you for watching. This is Punisher. Don't understand out. it. Hollywood Studios didn't send a camera crew to quote unquote space. It's all CGI. It's all animation. Just like every quote unquote composite for the Brazilian strain of Zika was where they were testing GM mosquitoes for the very first time. Actually, the first time that was ever actually tested in the wild was done by the same company 